In this video, a mass of 5 kilos is on a rough slope inclined at 15 degrees to the horizontal. The coefficient of friction is 0.2. The mass is attached to a light string which makes an angle of 25 degrees above the slope. The mass is just about to start to move up the slope. What is the tension in the string? OK, so we have a slope. And the angle here is 15 degrees to the horizontal. OK, here is our mass of 5 kilos. So it's got a weight of 5g. So this angle is 15 degrees. So this would be 5g sine 15. And this will be 5g cosine 15. Now there's going to be a normal reaction force um, perpendicular to the slope. Uh, the mass is attached to a light string which makes an angle of 25 degrees above the slope. So we have a string with tension. This angle is 25 degrees. We're going to complete the triangle. So this is T cosine 25 and this is T sine 25. Now because it's a rough slope there will be friction acting against the direction of motion. And it's just about to start to move up the slope. So we know that the friction is going to be equal to mu times r. OK, so let's begin. So we know uh, that we can start resolving forces. So I'm going to resolve perpendicular to the slope first. So resolving perpendicular slope, taking that direction as positive, we'll have r uh, plus the t sine 25 degrees and take away the 5g cosine 15 degrees and that's going to be equal to zero. Okay, now I'm just going to leave that equation as it is. I'm not going to rearrange it just yet. What else do I know? Right, well I can resolve um, parallel to the slope as well. And I'm going to take up the slope as positive. So we have T cosine 25 degrees. Take away the friction. Take away 5G sine of 15 degrees is going to be equal to zero because we're not accelerating. Now, we know that the friction is equal to mu times R. And mu is 0.2, so this is 0.2 times r. So I can replace the friction there with 0.2 r. OK, so I'm going to do that now. So essentially, I need to solve these simultaneous equations. OK, so we could uh, bung these equations directly into our calculator and solve them. I'm going to go through um, solving them algebraically. So, uh, a bit of practice. So I'm going to call this equation number one and I'm going to call this equation number two and I'm going to multiply equation two through by five to turn that into minus r. So I'm going to have 5t cosine 25 degrees, take away r, take away 25g sine of 15 degrees is equal to zero. Let's call this equation number three. If I now add equation number one and number three together, then the r's are going to cancel, and I'm going to have 5t cosine 25 degrees plus t sine 25 degrees. And I'm going to move the other two pieces over to the other side of the equation. So 5g cosine 15 degrees and 25g sine of 15 degrees. Now, if I factorise the left-hand side, uh, I can have t, lots of 5, cosine 25 plus sine 25 is equal to the 5g cosine 15 plus 25g sine 15. So t has to be 5g cosine of 15 degrees plus 25g sine of 15 degrees divided by 5 cosine of 25 degrees plus sine of 25 degrees. 
Okay, so five times using g as 9.8 times cosine of 15 plus 25 times 9.8 times sine of 15 divided by five times cosine of 25 plus sine of 25 and we get 22.4 newtons to three significant figures.